My dear students, today I am going to discuss with you the registrations in series in parallel. Okay. Consider a voltage or potential difference 10 volt, the distance 10 ohm. By ohm's law, what will be the current in the circuit? Current will flow for, from positive pole to negative pole. The current, this is ohm's law. Current is V upon R. What is V? 10 volt. What is R? 10 ohm. Current is 1 ampere. Now this circuit, I am changing the resistance, now instead of 10 ohm, now I am having 100 ohm. What will be the current now? V is the same, 10 volt upon 100, current only becomes 0.1 ampere. So here current flowing is very less, 0.1. Now consider the next case, the still high resistance. 1 kilo ohm, kilo mean 1000, V is the same, resistance 1000, what will be the current, 0 0.01 ampere, very less, so 10, 100, 1000, current 1, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, mean you learn from here that uh, a more the resistance, Okay, lesser will be the current. Now the problem is when all are connected in series, like when end to end, all are connected, then what about the current now? Do you think the current will be different in different register now? No. Remember, when the registers, they are connected in series, then the current, there will be only one current. Not you say, here the current is 1 ampere, here is 0 0.01, 0 0.1, here is 0 0.01. No, the current will be having only a single value and that current will pass through each and every resistor. But then how it, who decides, okay, how much the current now will flow? That's a problem. Now, that's very simple. This is voltage. Current will be flowing. The same current will pass. This is R1. This is R2. This is R3. Okay. Now, what will be the voltage across here by Ohm's law? V1 is the same current will flow. Remember, I R1. What will the voltage here? V2 I R2 What is the voltage here? Okay, V3 It is I R3 Voltage means here the voltage which develops Positive, negative huh? Because this is positive So positive, negative, positive, negative like this Voltage develops like this so, V1, V2, V3. Now, this is V. Voltage is a scalar quantity. And total voltage is the sum of all the three scalars. V1, V2 plus V3. And what is V1? I R1 plus I R2 plus I R3. Now, the, oh, the combination will behave like a single resistor whose resistance is Rs and current will be the same I so I cancels so Rs becomes R1 plus R2 plus R3 very simple it's okay 
this resistance is 10 ohm this is 100 ohm this is 1000 ohm take the sum 1110 now what will be the current the voltage is the same 10 volt divided by resistance 1110 so the answer answer comes out point zero zero nine ampere now the current flows point zero zero nine ampere look what was the current flowing in this case point zero one this current is very near to this value okay that means when the resistors are connected in series total resistance will be greater than the highest value in the circuit like total resistance here it is 1110 it is greater than 1000 and current will be you know lesser than this so this to remember that uh, the single current will flow and this formula decides about the current that will be in the circuit okay now I'm coming the registers in parallel now look 10 ohm 100 ohm 1000 ohm connected across the potential now across the potential you always remember like this is one register another register another register when they are connected in parallel then the potential will be the same across each register here it is 10 ohm the potential difference potential applied between the two points 10 volt 100 ohm potential the same 10 volt register 1000 ohm potential will be the same 10 volt that means now what about the current here so this resistor behaves as like there there is no other resistor only I am present if only I am present what is the current only I am it is 1 ampere only I am 0.1 ampere only I am the resistor 0 0.01 the same here in this line current will be 1 ampere in this line current will be 0 0.1 ampere in this line it is 0 0.01 ampere so what is the total current total current is this plus this plus this it is 1.11 ampere mean when the this 1.11 ampere current it comes from the battery when it reaches here it splits into the three parts more current will flow in that register which is having less value because 10 ohm is very less value so more current will flow along this path the less current will flow along this path because this is more resistor as compared to this and very less current will flow 0 0.01 through 1000 ohm because it is still very high resistance the current choose the more current will choose that path where the resistance is less this is very important in parallel the current which is coming from the battery it divide splits into the parts every path will take current depending upon its resistance that's very important so when potential is applied here okay the value of potential is V let the current which is started it is I when current reaches here it is split it into the three parts I1 I2 I3 you know I equals to 
I1 plus I2 plus I3. In parallel arrangement, you always keep in mind that across the parallel path, the potential will be the same. Across R1 the potential is V, across R2 the potential is V, across R3 the potential is V. Now I am going to change the current by using Ohm's law. Current is what? V upon R. So I1 means V upon R1 plus V upon R2 plus V upon R3. What is I? I is V upon. Now this whole arrangement, it behaves like a, like a single register of resistance Rp. And across Rp, the potential will also be the same, which is V. So the combination in the whole arrangement, the register of the whole arrangement the register of this register of this parallel combination is written with RP. It behaves like a single register which is connected across this potential, okay? So V upon Rp. Now what happens? V cancels. So 1 upon Rp becomes 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay? Now back to the previous example. Here resistance 10, 100,000, potential V, 10, potential 10 volt, current through each registers like 1 ampere, 0.1 ampere, 0 0.01 ampere and total current 1.11 ampere. So from 10 volts potential, the current which, which is started, it is 1.11 split into three parts. Okay. How I get this information? I <coughs> I found this information treating each resistor independently, like 10 ohm this current, 100 ohm this current, 1000 ohm this current, and then summing up all the current. But now the just formula which I proved, 1 over R1, 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Now I am applying this formula. So R1 is 10, R2 is 100, R3 is 1000. So 1 over 10, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001. So you know, this 1 over R becomes point triple one because this is 1 over R, when ohm inverse, then what the R becomes? 1 over this. Now I am having the parallel resistance, parallel resistance of this combination. Now I am applying formula, how much current is started from the battery. That is I, the voltage over the parallel resistance. What is voltage? 10. What is parallel resistance? This one, 1 upon this, it comes in the numerator and current becomes 1.11. The same answer meaning 1.11. The same answer as before. So this is how this formula is proved. Okay. Now, if you are having the two resistors, in parallel with some potential. 
R1 and R2. What is the parallel combination? 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. 1 over Rp is R1 R2, R1 plus R2 or Rp is R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2. You apply this formula for two registers. This is simple to use. Okay. Now, for example, if you are having 10 ohm register and uh, 100 ohm register, what is the parallel combination? Okay, 10 into 100 upon 10 plus 100. So it becomes 1000 divided by 110. So this is 110. 0 and 0 cancels. So 100 divided by 11. If 100 divided by 10, that the answer is 10. If so 100 divided by 11, the answer will be less than 10 ohm. Okay. 10 into 100, 110. The answer is less than 10 ohm. So in parallel combination, the parallel resistance is having that value which will be less than the least registered value. The least register is 10. So its value is less than, if this is less than 10 ohm. Less than 10 ohm. Okay. Now again, if you are having 10 ohm and 1 ohm, so 10 by parallel combination, 10 into 1 upon 10 plus 1 mean 10 upon 11. 10 upon 11 mean less than 1 ohm. So parallel combination is less than this value. Less than the least value. Okay, this is very important. Whereas in series combination, like 1, 10, 100, total register is how much? 100, 10, 1. This is 1, 1, 1. Okay, mean greater than the highest value. Greater than the highest value in parallel combination less than the least value. So this is very important. In parallel combination always voltage is the same. And in a series combination the current is same. That's all. Thank you very much. Uh, if you are finding any difficulty understanding any topic, any uh, you know article formula, you can write me in my description box, and you may note down my phone number nine triple eight one six nine double two six. You can contact me on my WhatsApp number. Okay. Thank you.